Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego. Welcome to 2019, and today I'm going to show you my custom Lego Joker from Persona 5. Now, if you're like me and you know nothing about this series or anything about this game, I highly recommend you go check out some videos because it's really awesome and it's cool. So thank goodness that this is, of course, this is the uh, first DLC character of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so it, it uh, you know, kind of got me into Persona 5, so that's really cool. So anyway, I'm really excited for this figure. I've had him done for a really long time, just with a few edits, and he looks really sweet, so I can't wait to show you. So, here we go. So here is Joker from Persona 5, and I'm going to start off with his accessories, because I did make three for him. So first off is the little sword that he has. I saw this in several reference pictures that I was using, and it was made actually out of a Lego stick, but then I like cut off the, the sides and you know sanded them down so that they were thinner, and then just painted it up in you know gunmetal, and it looks pretty cool. I also did give, give him a little pistol here that I made out of one of these you know guns. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah, it's a pistol. That's pretty much what that is. And then also, of course, everyone's making one of these, I think. I also made him a little Super Smash Bros. Ultimate little invitation. So here's what it looks like, of course. So here is the little Smash invitation that I made. It's made out of one of these one-by-one -one little tiles, and then it's just painted to look like a, you know, an envelope. And then the actual stamp down there is painted just to make it look like the Smash Bros. symbol. So that was pretty fun to do, and I really like it. So now I'm going to show you Joker himself. Now, what I really like about this figure is that it does look really nice. And I'm going to actually remove this sword, but it's all painted in my own little black color and uh, some, you know, new skirt little things that I made for him. And the back looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, it just looks really cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the hair is removable, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. It just kind of comes off, and the mask is just made out of paper that's, you know, different pieces of paper. And I actually, there is a reference picture that I have, that, and it looked a lot different, actually. I made a lot more uh, mod modifications to this figure. So, yeah, it used to start off... You know, it started off pretty weird looking, and uh, but I ended up, you know, going back to it and fixed it. it made it look a lot better. So I also did make the little 3D cuffs for him, and the jacket, and the little waist with all the different gold painting things in there. The buttons looks, you know, things. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but you know. The boots are also painted, and they go in the inside of them, pretty sure, and to the back as well. You can see them in the back here. There's they, There they are, and that's really nice. He also has his red gloves, of course, and he does look really sweet. Uh, nice little paintings all around. I think the hair sculpt turned out really well, as uh, you know, along with it. I started off with one of those skater hair pieces, the same I used for my Marth and Crom from Smash Brothers, and I just pretty much sculpted little bits on it to make it look like different, and then that was really all I did. I'm too worried to put a lot on it because I don't want it to snap or anything. And it does really look well for certain anime characters. So this is pretty much it for Joker. There's not much really else to say. You can just kind of look at all the painting details I did onto him, and that's really all there is to note. You know, there's the the jacket and whatnot, and one last detail before I move on, of course, to just the end of the video. The skirt is actually, this is the very first one I made when I started trying to make these removable, instead of just gluing it on, so this was the first one that I constructed, even before the buddy elf the figure that I made. So yeah, this is the first one, and it is removable. So that is the skirt. So that's gonna be pretty much it for my Lego Joker. There's really not much else to say besides a few, you know, details that are pretty minuscule. You can really see them on the figure by himself. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching this if you did. And make sure you leave a like if you like this figure just like I do. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and edit this. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later. So long.